So what is Modic? Well, it's open source marketing automation. Now let's break that down. Let's start with the last part, marketing automation. You can see it right here on the Modic homepage. Now let's ask Siri. Hey Siri, define marketing automation. Here's what I found. Thanks, helpful as usual, Siri. All right, so let me break it down for you. Marketing automation lets you track and segment prospects based on actions that they take. You can engage with those segments based on the data that you receive. So the idea is someone could be on your website for weeks visiting pages on your website, but only after they convert will you actually know anything about them. With marketing automation, you can be following them from the beginning of their journey, even before they opt in until after they've become a customer. But Monic isn't right for everyone and choosing an ESP that is right for your business is crucial to your success. Now, here is a Venn diagram of marketing automation tools. We have things like Active Campaign, which are extremely high quality, but also cost prohibitive for a lot of people. We also have very low cost options, downright free if you stay under 2000 subscribers with something like MailChimp. We also have the very easy to use, but also high quality applications like ConvertKit, but they get a little bit spendy. Modic is gonna live somewhere in between high quality, but low cost. So it's not gonna be the easiest tool to use, which will help you decide if it's right for you. So why would you choose Modic with so many options out there? Well, the number one reason to me is that it's self-hosted. So you control your own fate. No one else has access to your data, assuming you don't get breached or compromise your security. You also have unlimited contacts. You won't be punished for having more leads or not converting them at a certain dollar amount per lead per month. And it's really cost effective. If you use something like Amazon SES, you'll be able to send emails for as little as 10 cents per 1000 emails. The deliverability is gonna be great because you're relying on Amazon SES. If you still have issues with deliverability, you can add your own dedicated IP with SES for a little bit less than a, the cost of a cup of coffee once a week. Modic's also gonna allow you to do very advanced features far beyond what you could expect of a free MailChimp account. Things like advanced tagging, tracking, and segmentation. And there's no extra cost. There's not an extra tier you have to pay because you're self-hosting this application. So what is Modic? Well, remember, we said it's open source marketing automation. Now we've talked about what marketing automation is, but what does it mean to be open source? Well, it means that the community develops it. It's like WordPress for email marketing. Now, just like WordPress, there are two components to Modic. There's a .org domain, that's the open source project. Now there's also a .com domain and that's the commercial project. The difference between the two is that the commercial project hosts Modic for you and they do all of the administrative tasks. Now, if you're thinking that sounds pretty good and you'll head over there and not have to deal with all of the things I've been complaining about, well, think again because Modic is enterprise level software, which means it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars a month to run it. Now you can have that same software on your platform. When you host it, you're not going to lose any features. You just have to maintain it. So should you avoid Modic? Probably. The support is community based. So if you need something, you're gonna have to go in the Slack channel and ask for help or hire someone on Fiverr to do a job for you. The development is slow. It's downright slow. It's not a bit slow. It's taken 18 months to go from version 2.15 to a beta of version 3, and most of the features they talked about originally for version 3 are not included. And updating your Modic installation can be scary. You don't want to press the update button from inside of the graphical user interface. Every new Modic user makes that error. You actually have to update things from the command line, which means you got to get used to seeing a black screen and pretending you're Neo in the matrix. But if all of this doesn't scare you and Modic shouldn't, maybe it is right for you. And if it is, you should check out my guide on how to install Modic on a dedicated VPS. So what do you say? Let's get started.